Mr. Speaker, I rise today to discuss the need to create more jobs in the American economy. We've had some good news on jobs lately. The nation's unemployment rate has finally dipped below 10 percent, and the economy added 162,000 jobs in March alone. It's a start. The economic stimulus measures in last year's Recovery Act are starting to pay off, but it's still not enough. Over 44 percent of unemployed Americans have been jobless for six months or longer, the highest rate since World War II. For the long-term unemployed, that light at the end of the tunnel may feel more like a freight train bearing down on them. Long-term unemployment cuts across nearly every industry and occupation and happens to workers of all ages. Long-term unemployment is bad for families and is bad for the country. Long-term unemployment can permanently depress a person's future wages. A study published by the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago followed up on workers who lost their jobs during the recession of 2001 to 2003. It found that those working again by 2004 earned 17% less per week than they would if they'd kept their old job. Long-term unemployment also drains the federal purse, not only increasing costs for unemployment, Medicaid and food assistance, but also severely reducing income tax revenue. I strongly support safety net programs to help families survive bouts of unemployment, but in the end, Americans would rather work. We must help get them back to work in jobs that will allow them to care for their families and send their children to college. That's why I've introduced the Public Lands Rehabilitation and Job Creation Act, which will create well-paying jobs fixing roads and buildings in our nation's parks and forests. It's why I introduced the Sustainable Property Grants Act to create manufacturing jobs and installing energy efficient equipment for commercial properties throughout the nation. It's why I'm working to support the President's Export Initiative to create well-paying manufacturing jobs by expanding overseas markets for U.S. made products. It's why I work hard to ensure that our trade laws and agreements are enforced so that U.S. firms don't get undercut by countries that don't play by the rules. And it's why I spend each day in Congress working with my colleagues to fix our economy. I'm working to renew the American dream. Unfortunately, there are many obstacles in the way. Some members of the other body have played games with efforts to extend unemployment benefits. Others are more concerned about retaining corporate tax giveaways than they are in working to find solutions that would help us pay for job creation efforts job creation efforts that would help families while helping to restore federal revenues. Regardless of the obstacles we face, no matter how bitter our fights, nothing we experience in Congress will ever compare to the challenge of supporting a family without a job. That's why, to my neighbors back home in Southern California, I pledge to redouble my efforts to keep fighting the good fight, to work tirelessly to bring back jobs and get America back on track and to make sure that the light of the end of the tunnel really is a ray of hope for a better tomorrow. I yield back.